Hey, this is Jimmy. I was going to show you a couple improvements I made on the uh, 2012 Ascend Kayak from Bass Pro Shop. It's the FS12. Sit on top. A couple things that I've done to it. Um, it comes from, once you get it from Bass Pro, it's going to come with this deck plate in the 2012s. The 2011s didn't have it. It's got a uh, small bag in here watertight you can put your phone or fishing license whatever you want in there it's not a lot of room in there but it's pretty neat i added another deck plate on this side you see i don't have a bag in there i couldn't bass pro shop didn't sell one with the bag but uh i'll find one to put in there i'll figure something out even if i need it i really hadn't found anything to put in there yet but the reason i, I had to cut a hole there is to mount the GPS fish finder here which I, you could you could use screws if you mount it screws or pop rivets whatever you want I didn't want to use them because every every fish finder I've mounted on a kayak ends up getting ripped off or knocked off so I used quarter inch bolts I went through here put big flash flat washers on the back this thing is secure it's not going anywhere silicone up pretty good uh, didn't think about when I was mounting this GPS. I didn't think about uh, where uh, mounting it in this hole. This I, I, I didn't know at the time, but this this holds a pretty good amount of water from paddle splash or rain or whatever. Make sure you silicone that up very good so water don't leak. But uh, this one's pretty good as far as I hadn't found any water inside the hole. Um, it comes with this rod holder. Uh, maybe you'll have to get in there and try it out from uh, sitting in the seat If you were carrying a rod in that I, I can't reach it. I'm six one. I can't reach up that far My gut gets in the way <laughs> But um, I'm taking this off. I'm just gonna fill this in. I don't think I'm gonna put anything there uh, You can I'm gonna put Scotty rod holders. These rod holders are pretty pretty good top of the line uh, the flush mount hadn't come in. I got this separate. Ordered them off of eBay. But uh, the flush mounts, I'm going to put one here on this side, probably right here. A lot closer to the seat, arms reach. Uh, put one on each side. You know, you can turn them out like this, whether you're trolling or whatever. The flush mounts, uh, I found them. I actually paid like $25 for this one on eBay. The flush mount was $12. I found them since then. I was kind of in a hurry. I found them for a lot cheaper. I think I found one for it was like 26 bucks and it come with the mount and the rod holder. Um, put a toggle switch here. The toggle switch operates the light back here. So uh, I'll show you what we did here. Put a flush mount. A flush mount um, 12 volt light here. You can get that from Bass Pro Shop. It was like five bucks. Put that on there. That way you're not, you know, you're not, you're not tying up a rod holder by putting a, a flag or a light in. It's there. I was worried that this was going to get in the way, you know, from casting or or whatever. But uh, it hadn't gotten in the way. I was pretty satisfied with that. This light, you can also get it from Bass Pro. It's like I think it's thirty bucks. It's a great light. Puts out a pretty good amount of light. <clears throat> Put in a eight inch screw in deck plate lid here. Which when you get it when you get your kayak from Bass Pro, it's not going to come with this deck plate. It's going to have a spot for a five-gallon bucket or you know bait bucket or something like that. But um, use a jigsaw if you decide to do this because this is some thick plastic. It'd take you forever. You'll go through a hundred blades trying to do this with a a putty knife. Jigsaw had a hard enough time. You'll have to kind of work you know to get around these curves here, but it's doable. I'm going to show you the battery box. I used a battery from a uh, Deer feeder, automatic deer feeder. You can get it from Bass Pro Shop. It's $21, I believe. They also have a charger there, which you can use any. Uh, you're supposed to trickle charge it. You put it on like maybe a 2-amp charge or something like that. Charge it for a good 24 hours. I just use a regular automotive battery charger. Uh, the battery box. I used. I went to Walmart, and I got a, uh, a watertight... box here it's got the gasket in it i uh, use marine or i'm sorry i use plumber's goop g-o-o-p 
It's uh, you can get it from Walmart also. It's like four dollars. Comes in a tube. You don't need but one tube. But uh, you, use you uh, some steel wool or something. Rough this up pretty good before you stick it on there. Put you about a half inch bead. Go around it. Let me show you the battery. The battery I have. I used a rubber grommet. You have to check the wires and all that good stuff. Just get creative with it. Maybe you don't want it here. I like it here. That way it's out of the way. You know, if I want to put some stuff down in here, I'm not messing with wires and battery and all that crap. Um, the front. I'll show you what I'm going to do the front. I've, I've kind of got it started, but I run out of that uh, expansion foam or whatever you're going to call it. When you get your kayak, it's going to come... This is going to be... You'll be able to see all the way to the back of the kayak looking in here, this front hatch. You can buy the uh, cans of that expansion foam from Walmart, Home Depot, wherever. But uh, I'm going to fill it up and make me kind of like a wall right here. And uh, that way I don't have, you know, whether you put fish or whatever you're going to put in there, anything, it's not sliding all the way to the back of the kayak. But I got it blocked off pretty good. I'm going to trim it up and make it neat. <clears throat> what else? Oh, put the anchoring system on here. The anchor, you can get this from Bass Pro Shop. It's uh, 14 bucks. It comes with your pulleys, your hasp, and all this. Your rope. Side to side. Pretty easy installation, just use silicone. Uh, someone was asking about the seat. The seat, this comes in the 2012, it's not extra. The 2012 is, I think, I wanna say it's like 20 or $30 uh, more than the 2011. And like I said, it comes with this and your seat, which is well worth the money. This seat is probably the, the most comfortable seat I've been in on a kayak. Uh, I just sold a, uh, a Hobie Pro Angler, and that's, you know, supposed to be the biggest, comfortablest, best one you can get. This one right here, I can sit in it longer. Uh, it's faster, it's lighter, it don't weigh 200 pounds. Speaking of fast, this, this kayak, I thought, you know, I was wondering about how fast it was going to be, but I thought the fastest kayak I've been in so far was a uh, Malibu, Malibu Stealth. This thing will smoke a Malibu. Why I don't know. I'll show you a picture of the pole here. There's really not much to it, but I don't know if it's because it's so light or, or what. But it's a quick, it's it's pretty quick. I believe that's it. I think so. If you got any uh questions or anything like that, just leave a comment and I'll answer your back. I check it pretty regularly. Um, Y'all have a good one.